Hello, I am Satish Gupta working as a Java trainer in Narisha Technologies. Welcome to Java 8.0 video sessions. And in the last videos, we have seen what is lambda expression and functional interface. As I said, uh, lambda expression is a implementation of functional interface method or single method uh, interface. Okay. Now, we will try to see how to write this lambda expressions uh, using functional interfaces. Right. As I said, the advantage of lambda expressions is I said it is anonymous function or it is function object which can be passed from one function to another function. Okay. Generally, a method receives the input as data, but when it comes to a Java 8, one method can receive the input as another method or a function. It means a method receive a function to perform certain operations or a function might receive the data to perform certain operations. Right. So, we will try to see how to write uh, this lambda expression. As I said in the previous videos, like you can write a lambda expression with parameters and you can write a lambda expression without parameters, you can write a lambda expression with written type and you can write a lambda expression without written type. But whenever you write a lambda expression, that lambda expression should match with a method existing uh, functional interface. Okay, Because you are trying to, uh, that is what I said, a lambda expression is an implementation of functional interface. And whenever you write a lambda expression, you should see that that method or that uh, expression should match with the signature of the method exists in functional interface. Suppose if you want to write a lambda expression without parameters, then you should write a an interface that functional interface should contain a method without parameters. If you want to write a lambda expression with parameters, then uh, functional interface should contain the method with parameters. If you want to write a lambda expression with written type, then functional interface should contain a method with a written type. Now, this is how checking is done, right. Okay. So, what I am doing is, now uh, you have different types of functional interfaces. You have a predefined functional interfaces and you have user defined functional interfaces. Okay. First, we will talk about how can you develop a user defined functional interfaces and how can you implement that as a lambda expression, right. Okay. So, I am trying to write one functional interface. Okay. So, here uh, first I am writing one, now this is my class, okay. now this is my test class here, now where I am trying to write a method here, uh, now in this I am trying to say at the rate functional, at the rate functional interface. So, I said you to tell the compiler this interface is functional interface. Okay, you are using annotation called at the rate functional interface and you are writing interface by using interface and the name of the interface is A. Okay. And within interface A, I say no, functional interface must have only one method. It is single abstract method interface, right. So, void, I am writing one method called M1. I say no, functional interface can have default methods or it can have static methods but it cannot have more than one abstract method, it can have only one abstract method. Suppose, if I am writing one more abstract method, what will happen? You just see here, now when I write one more abstract method, immediately uh, the compiler is given what error saying that uh, invalid at the rate functional interface annotation is not a functional interface. It means, I cannot use this annotation. Why? Because you are saying compiler that this interface is functional, then I need to write how many methods, how many abstract methods, only one abstract method, but I cannot write more than one abstract method. But can I write a default methods? Yes, I can write a default method. Okay. So, default M2, now M2 is which method here? Default method. Okay. I can write default, default void M3. Uh, I can write any number of default methods, but I can write only one abstract method. Okay. Uh, can I write a static method? Now, I am saying static void uh, m4. Okay. Now, this is which method here? Static method. Now, is it functional interface contain default and static methods? Yes, but it can have only one abstract method. Okay. Right. Now, you need to follow this rule while writing a functional interface. Right. Okay. 
then then what I am doing is ok. So, I need to implement I need to implement this functional interface ok, but I am implementing this functional interface as a lambda expression ok. So, what I am doing is I am trying to write a a is an interface and a 1 is a reference variable. Anyway, lambda is an anonymous function, but I said you it is an implementation of functional interface. Now, I am saying a a 1 a is an interface name and a 1 is a reference variable name and equal to I am just writing I said you know lambda expression do, should match with lambda expression should match with the method signature available in what interface. Okay. So, interface A is having M1 method and that method is without parameters. So, lambda is anonymous. So, I am writing this function without any name and uh, it is without any parameters and you write the body of the lambda expression by separating with i1 and what greater than. Okay. And then you write the operation performed by lambda function I am saying system dot out dot print len it just print a simple message called hello. Okay. Now, this is the implementation of functional interface and I call this method by saying a 1 dot m 1 a 1 dot m 1 right. When I say a 1 dot m 1 a 1 is a reference variable of a. Now, compiler look for m 1 method in what a. Okay. So, is it m 1 method is there in a yes then compiler will not give any error, but when you run this now in order to execute a method is it required implementation or not yes, but that implementation is of type lambda that implementation is of type what lambda. Now, what I am doing is I just run this. Now, when I run this now you can see the message called hello. Okay, now, this is a lambda expression without parameters and without return type. Suppose, if I am trying to write uh, void m 1 integer x, I said void m 1 integer x. Now, what, what, what I said here m 1 integer x and when I say a a 1, uh, now you can see uh, here it is given error saying that lambda expression signature does not match the signature of the functional interface method m 1. It means, whenever you write a lambda expression, it is necessary to write the lambda expression with the same signature of the method exist in what functional interface. If not, compiler gives what error. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video. We will try to see more on lambda expressions in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.